Richard Southern joins us this hour. Richard, we got something a little different than our usual chat. You got to go outside the home office and uh, take a firsthand look at a business that's trying to adjust and survive during this pandemic. And they've been probably harder hit than anyone. We're talking about Mandarin, the famous chain of buffets, Janela family run Ontario business for more than 40 years but they've been closed now for months they are though beginning to reopen I had a chance to go to Mandarin's Brampton location today check it out Mandarin buffets used to be bustling places full of hungry people waiting in line to fill their plates with things like fried rice and sushi but walking into a Mandarin now is a different experience the Ontario government does not yet allow buffets to operate so Mandarin has replaced the food on their iconic hotlines with floral arrangements. The buffet table without food is so ugly, so we decided to make a garden out of it. So what Mandarin's done instead, they've come up with this new concept where you can order individual dishes. I've ordered just a few, just a little sampling here. Uh, each one costs between $1.99 and $4.99. They have 80 of these dishes on the menu. There's only about 40 here. And the Mandarin contends you'll actually spend a little bit less on average doing it this way than if you were to go to the buffet. So the maximum you spend per dish is $5. James, did I, did I order too much, do you think? <laughs> this is good enough for five people, you know, and costs the same amount as a buffet. This full table of food? Yeah. This, this full table of food was cheaper than the buffet if you come about five people sharing it. The past five months have been very hard for the company. Their buffets have been completely closed since March 15th. The chain's franchised outlets have been surviving with the help of interest-free government loans and wage subsidies. I guess the question a lot of people have, and you know, we're worried about the Mandarin, we like the Mandarin. Is the Mandarin going to be okay? Are we going to be able to, to push forward here? Well, I know this store has no problem, but some of the store may have some problems. But Mandarin CEO says business is slowly starting to return with the new Small Eats concept. I think I'm, I visited all the table for the last two weeks, except two customers. Everybody loved it. You know, some of them said they even prefer this more than the buffet. Indeed, the chain has removed tables to increase space and put in place strict cleaning protocols. But the big question may be, Will Mandarin ever reopen its buffets again? Oh yes, I I'm, I'm definitely will. You know, when the, because people, we are known for the buffet and a lot of people miss that. So right now Mandarin has 16 of their restaurants open with their new concept that they're running here and they're hoping to have the rest of them open soon and hoping to bring their 3,000 employees in Ontario back to work and get everyone digging in again. Speaking of digging in, Richard Southern, City News. So, you know, pretty tough assignment today, yeah. uh, Janela. What <laughs> I, do you think, though? Will that get you coming back in? Yeah, I think that's pretty cool. Although I have to admit, I've never been to Mandarin. So wow. I, I, don't know, I don't know what I was missing out before. So this looks cool and, uh, you know, a, a creative way to, to tackle this, uh, this uh, pandemic. And they're hoping it's going to work because, again, it was very good, actually, very tasty. But, again, 3,000 people they employ in Ontario, so it's a business hoping to get back on their feet with that concept. You know? Yeah, I saw the, that opening shot of the huge lineup. I was like, oh, my God, that's not current <laughs> video. Isn't that no. file video? It's so weird watching back some of those, you know. those images and thinking... What a time, right? Uh, Maybe one day again soon, uh, Janela. Hey, you and I are back just after 6.30. We're going to lighten the things up a little bit and talk about some interesting stories, uh, including a new word that's been added to the dictionary that you, uh, you may find rather interesting after 6.30. All right, we'll chat next hour. Thanks.